So while I have the hood up, let me show you the 400 cubic inch V8 that's in here. This is part of Ford's 335 family, which includes the 351 Cleveland, the 400, and the 351M, and also the 302 Cleveland, but that was only available in Australia. So we won't, we won't talk about that. Now, a lot of people will call this a 400M, but there's no such thing. I think they call it a 400M because it shares the same block as the 351M, but the, the 400 does not have an M designation. It is just a 400. Now, the M in 351M, there's a lot of debate on what that stands for. A lot of people think it stands for modified, which would make sense since a 351M is a D-stroked 400. Uh, they made the 400 first, and then a few years later, when the, they discontinued the 351 Cleveland, they decided to de-stroke the 400 to make another 351 Cleveland. Because this is technically a Cleveland, it's a tall, block, uh, a tall deck Cleveland, but that's we won't get into that. Anyway, these engines have the same heads as the 351 Cleveland. They all share the same heads and everything. Uh, bottom end is basically the same, it's just the deck height is taller and the intake manifolds are different. Now the 400 and the 351M were always designed to be higher-ish torque, low horsepower, okay-ish mileage, and supposed to be okay on emissions back in the day. So from the factory, even though this 400 was 400 cubic inches, uh, it came with a little uh, two barrel intake and carburetor, came with log exhaust manifolds, and I think it was rated for like 165 horsepower from the factory. So not very much for a big block V8. The other problem with the 400s is that even though they came in a lot of trucks, they weren't as desirable as a lot of the other engines, like a 351 Cleveland or a stuff from the, the 485 series, like a 460 or a 429. So there is very little aftermarket support for these engines, unfortunately, at least compared to things like a 460. So it actually makes it a little bit more difficult to find things like a performance intake. 